Yay for you, yay for you. Dude, yay for you, yeah, dude. dude. Finally, I am so excited to be here with the Quibus Potiter because we are finally going to find out who reigns supreme as the best drummer in the internet. <laughs> because dude, all the trolls watching this are like flipping their lids right now. As we've discussed, you've discussed this many times. Drums many times. It's not about feel. Feel or groove drums is, is for the birds. <laughs> totally. Drums is about. How fast you can go playing? How much pieces? money you can make? <laughs> how many girls you can get? How many meaningless, empty, superficial relationships you can have? <laughs> how many 16th notes you can play at the highest BPM possible? Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's not what it's about. We're totally the just opposite <laughs> of that. The opposite. Um, That's what it's actually about. But when we jam together, we just like to have fun. Yeah. And uh, friendly competition is always good. You guys. I am very, very excited, which is why I'm making fire right now. Um, <laughs> we are doing massive giveaways this lesson. And uh, the way that you guys can enter is very, very simple. You go to facebook.com forward slash Kobus Method. You like that page. And then you post on your Facebook wall. And you answer this one question. And the question is, in the next 12 months, I want to accomplish blank in my drumming. And then you need to tag the Cobus Method page. Yeah. Am I saying it right? Absolutely. So what, if you're watching this right now and you want to enter in this competition, then you're going to open up a new tab in your browser. Maybe you're watching this on your phone. I don't know. But if you're in front of the computer, open up a new tab. Go to the Cobus Method, the Cobus Method Facebook page. Like it if you haven't done so already. And, and if you like it, then please like it. And then <laughs> go to your personal page and post as a status update. Say, for example, I will say, in the next 12 months, I want to learn how to play an authentic jazz groove, beat, phrase. That's what you want to accomplish in that Absolutely. Point. And then between brackets, I just tag, I press the at button, and I type in the Quibus method, and I yeah. tag it, and I post it. Because then we can see it. Yeah. Then, then it'll show can... up on our page, and you're instantly entered into the competition. Competition, absolutely. Yeah. So it's really simple. Why don't you tell them what they can win? OK, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you'll see soon enough. Why we're doing that. But anyways, you're going to yeah. see a side of me that you've never seen before. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. Yes. Um, yeah. I haven't forgotten about that. Yeah. I will probably never forget about that. <laughs> hey, dude, there's a lot of stuff going on with you right now. Yeah. Lots Tons of, stuff. of stuff. And today we're going to talk a little bit about um, all of that. And that yes. kind of ties into what you guys can win. Now, we're literally giving away, it's over $700 worth of stuff. Hectic, man. And I'm just going to tell them. Cool. OK, so for those of you guys who don't know, the Coas Method is now on special. You can save 100 bucks. It's 50% off. And Which is enormous. Yeah, it's $97. You get the 15 DVDs, five CDs, and you get full online access, lifetime access. So we're giving away five of those. Okay, So if you post, do this post like we just asked, um, you'll be entered to win five of those. The second thing we're doing just gets better and better. Yes. <laughs> do it. But wait. But wait. <laughs> There's more. Uh, <laughs> Um, Please don't ask me to do that again. Yeah, I just I go old Jim Carrey. I don't know what happens. Um, a lot of you guys, some of you guys probably don't know this, but Kobus is doing a Kickstarter campaign yeah. where you are putting a band together via YouTube. Yes. So he's auditioning band members via YouTube, and then he's going to form a band, record a CD, film a DVD, and he's basically asking you guys to back this project. Absolutely. And it's, a it's a community project. I'm going to take people from the community. It's being backed by the community, so yeah. it's like... No record companies or nothing like that. Uh, yeah. Nice indie. Yeah. Project. Every single dime goes to the band, which is like, yes. I mean, when does that happen in music these days? Oh, dude. Um, yeah. And so, what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do personally, is I want to um, back, uh, I'm going to do five people, and I'm going to back you at the $40 level. So, we're going to choose five of you. I'm going to pay for it. Um, and five of you guys will get the $40 level, which is they get a signed copy of the CD, DVD. Package. Absolutely. Yeah. This is what I had in mind. First of all, thank you. Oh. That's huge. I really appreciate that. No problem. Because I'm like benefiting from that prize. <laughs> I really appreciate it very much. But yeah. you get a CD, DVD package uh, signed by me and yeah. the band members. Yeah. It's awesome. And so you bas it's basically the only way to actually pre-order the actual final product. Yeah. So Regardless of the, of, the, of the goal limit on Kickstarter, this, this Functionality is the only way to pre-order the album. Yeah. 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 Cool, man. Um, also, you could enter into win that signed snare drum head, the one he's That's playing one. right there. Yes. So after we're done filming today, he's going to sign it. And you can get entered to win two pairs of your signature Promark drumsticks. Yes. Why don't you hold those bad boys? Very, ex oh, and very the, excited. Oh, behind you. They'll get the overhead. Oh, there we go. 
There you go. Super there. proud of them. Yeah. Very proud of them, and they're very comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable sticks. Um, and so you guys, all you got to do is answer the question, in the next 12 months I want to accomplish blank in my drumming and tag the coest method. But don't say blank. Don't say blank. Yeah. I know so many people are probably going to be like, I want to accomplish blank. Yeah. What okay. is blank? Is that like a technique? What? Don't, let's not go down that road. I'm in a random mood. I'm just going to indulge you too much. Just go on, please. Uh, okay. And so, you know, we're not going to talk about that contest too much. We hope you guys go out there and uh, get it done. Now, one thing I will say is that the winners will be announced June 29th. Yes. So you got a couple weeks to do this. Yeah. Because we're going to post, obviously, you might be watching this live, which is yeah. rad, and we really appreciate that. But I'm also going to post this on my second YouTube channel. So you might yeah. be watching this on YouTube right now. And so uh, you, still, you have until the 29th yeah. to post that little update on your Facebook page. Yeah. Cool. Okay, uh, next thing we want to do is obviously play drums, because why Heck Yes. Why are we here? What the flip? Right? We are here to decide who is the better drummer. Absolutely, who's the <laughs> fastest and the best. Okay, so one thing we did in the past is we did something called an interactive drum solo. Yeah. And we basically have the chat up on screen. Can you read that? I can read that. I can read that. I use Promark. I see Peter McLeod, Cloud yeah. Drums, McBrien, Chin, Armando, Cristino. <clears throat> okay, so we have that chat there, you guys. And, uh, uh, what Kovis is going to do is he's basically going to start playing drums and you, you guys, need to tell him what to do. And yes. every once in a while he's going to look up there and get a new idea and then take that idea and actually play on the drums. Yeah. Side. I'm not going to say what I don't want you to say because every time I do that then they say that over and over again. Yeah. So I'm not going to say that, but anything, we're going to do that right now. Yeah, right now. Okay. Anything that you guys want me to play, anything, a groove from a song that you've heard me cover or a technique that you want me to use or whatever you want me to do. Post it up and then, um, and, and make it really short. Like if you can give me like one word or five word sentences, that would be the best because it's moving really fast and yeah. I, I can't read like a Jedi. I'm going to start. Symbols only. Okay, perfect. Cut. Great suggestion. Yeah. Here we go. Make suggestions.
Very cool. I can keep going forever, but I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> okay, so if you like the solo, that's great. If you don't, it's your fault. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are the ones who told them what to do. Yeah. That that's was, that awesome awesome stuff that I haven't played in so long. Yeah. That burning up intro I haven't played in a while. That's fun. Yeah. I had no idea what I was going to play. You guys gave some cool... Oh, I just missed swing jazz. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> really wanted to play some jazz. Yeah. Cool. Not kidding. Um, cool. So, we also wanted to do some teaching today. Um, we're going to do some collaborative teaching. Yes. Yeah? You're going to do most of the teaching. I'm gonna, I'll do the learning. <laughs> I'll be that guy. Okay. Basically, I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to just teach you guys um, one little linear pattern that you could tap away on your desk and actually take away and take your kit right away and apply it in, in whatever way you want to. And so, the basic pattern is, and I saw people saying linear fills up there, so I think... Someone just said Jared Pot Kiter. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, the one linear pattern I want, and you guys can do this with me right now. Hobus, you as well, please. What am I gonna Help doing? me out here. Oh, just okay. do this linear pattern with me. Cool. Right, left, right, left, left, bass. Right, left, right, left, left, bass. Right, left, two, three, four, five, six. six. Okay, so it's six, six notes. notes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And you were just, I, I showed him this out there, and he just like busted it out. No, and don't say like, that. Come off of it. Don't say that. I took me forever to learn the peanut butter and jam beat. Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Same thing. What the fluff, Jan? <laughs> you didn't. After I gave a lesson on it, I actually recorded a really cool lesson on it. And yeah. afterwards, Jan sat on the electric key, was like, no, 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 no. I was it. like, <laughs> no, no, I'm convulsing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right, left, right, left, left, bass. Yes. Okay, that's what you want to do, and that's what just rotates. Okay, there's no space, you know, there's no extra space once you hit that kick drum. Um, so, regardless of what note value you use, it always goes right, left, right, left, left, bass, right, left, right, left, left, bass, right, left, right, left, left, bass, right, left, right, left, left, bass. Okay, now I'm just going to play it for you in two different ways. The first way is um, using 16th note triplets. 16th note triplets are six notes per count. So if you're going one, two, three, four, you want to put six notes in each of those counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, yeah. one, two, three, four, okay. Yeah, some people count one tita, anti-ta, two tita, anti-ta, three tita, anti-ta, four tita, anti-ta. 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 <laughs> okay? So let's Let's uh, not count like that. No, let's not. Cool. But it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One two three four five six. 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 Exactly. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's uh, let's try it. Okay, and so that's something you just start very, very slow and then slowly progress faster, 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 faster until you are <laughs> at pot <laughs> heater level. <laughs> okay. You're just saying that last name the whole time, aren't you? I gotta get it right, man. One of these days. I'll just say Falk. Yeah. Falk or Falk. <laughs> Jared Falk. Okay, so we got that down. And then <clears throat> the next thing we wanna do is apply this in a different note value because that's what's really gonna make it sound really, really weird. And so we want to do 30 second notes. Now, 30 second notes are, you know this. <coughs> what, what are they? Eight notes, eight notes per count. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> and so basically what we want to do is, it's a six note pattern. If we have eight notes per count, we have 32 notes. So we do five rotations of it, and then we just add two notes on. That makes sense? So we have it makes sense, but you know what will make the most sense to me is if you, like with the previous example, if you right. just uh, produce it with sound. So either tap it out yeah. or... So if, it was, if you give me um, a count, just like a stick click, so, I, so yeah, we have a reference. What tempo? What tempo? Just one, two, three, four. So one, two, three. Okay. All right. No, you keep going. Yeah, it's really fast, even at that tempo. So but then I'm not, I'm not going to give you a quarter note. If snare. you just give me a hi the hi-hat quarter note, then I'll play it in an actual groove on the snare. Wow. 
Okay, so at, it, it does. There's a lot to fit in there because you're basically fitting in eight notes per beat. And so the best way to do it is put on a metronome and actually just practice getting that to feel right and get it to sit really, really well yeah. um, with eighth notes per count. But the first step is literally learning it as sixteenth note triplets because it's, it's a groove that's made for sixteenth note triplets. Absolutely, because it's, it's six notes long. It's six notes, and yeah. it's just super simple. But this is something for you guys who want to just really push it and take it to, to, uh, to the next level. And so I'll just play it around the kit for you guys and show you how it sounds. So, oh, that's cool. I'm totally going to steal that. Yeah, and the reason this is, I mean, we can tell why we wanted to do something like this is because for both me and you, it's always been a struggle to throw in one bass drum into any pattern, into any linear pattern. Yes, and, especially linear patterns. Yeah. yeah, and I see guys like, you know, Teddy Campbell, Aaron Spears, like, you know these guys. You got them in just, hey, what's <laughs> up, Aaron? What's up, Teddy? What's up, Jonathan Moffat? What's up? What's up? Uh, who else? Yeah. You're so well connected. Uh, <laughs> and I am well connected through you. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> making five. But, uh, what was I going with this? You were oh, saying, oh, yeah. all one, these one kick. And all these gospel playing. drummers, especially yeah. Aaron Spears. I would see them just like, like, where does that come from? How? Exactly. And so I really just started focusing on patterns that just required one hit with the bass drum. Because the challenge is doing one hit with the bass drum and then picking up from there, whether you, the next Absolutely. stroke is with your left hand, right hand. You know, if you doubles. ended with a right, with, and then you do a right with a foot, with your, one foot with your bass drum, um, or do you start again with your right, or do you go start exactly. with your left? And then exactly. when does it end? Because that completely throws off the sticking of the Exactly. Path. So you just have to play with it and get really, really comfortable with it. Yeah. But uh, the one pattern, just write this down, even if uh, you haven't really practiced it, so you don't forget it. But just right, left, right, left, left, bass. Okay. So say that again. Right, left, right, left, left, bass. So so, right, left, right, left, left, bass. Ba, 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 da, da. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Like, one, I two, love three, that four, six five, note six. feel. One, two, three, four, four five, six. Yeah, it's kind of like the swingy feeling. Like you're in a swing when, yes. you're, a young, when you're just a young little lad. Doing a swing <laughs> or a waltz. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, and so that's, that's uh, all I had to teach you guys today. I just that's rad, though. I like the fact that that's um, simple enough that you can immediately take it to the kit. Yeah. But it's got enough potential that if you work on it for like the next month, then you can whoop both of our butts at it. <laughs> yeah, one thing I think we should do yes. is a little, a little drum battle. Oh drum. man, don't call it I'm that. Not, I'm just, he hates it when I do that. I always I joke about the word them. drum battle. <laughs> okay, let's do a drum duet. Let's do a, a drum classical drum duet. Oh yes. How does that sound? That sounds great. Joe. Okay, so I think that's, that's uh, always fun for people to see. Yes, I agree. Okay. Not a battle. Trolls, sit down. Calm down, today, trolls. Today we'll find out who reigns supreme. Uh, why do you entice the trolls? Because, <laughs> dude, I'm so They're far They're like behind. sitting like this now. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Jack Get sucks. Him. Get out! <laughs> That's exactly... <laughs> now, you know what's going to happen? People are going to say, Jared sucks. He's the worst drummer in the world. I pick Quibus. Other people will say, Quibus sucks. You should die. I pick Jared. <laughs> no midway. No, there's nothing in between. There's nothing in between. Uh, you know, I'm just joking. Right? That's the rule of the internet. All right, here we go. Okay. You get us started.
Well, hey, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unplanned. We didn't even know we were going to do that. No, we didn't. That was fun. You know what's weird? That, that felt like five minutes, max. Yeah. But it probably wasn't. <laughs> the way it always goes. <laughs> if you guys, here, here's a tip for you guys. If you guys ever have a chance to get together with another drummer friend or anything like that, honestly, man, that's like the, the time you'll learn the most. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm over here looking like, yeah, I'd like to try that. I'd like to try that. <laughs> that sounds cool. I'll learn that. <laughs> it's like, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going, I have to sharpen up my doubles. I have to do this. Like, I'm just stealing stuff. You don't but even I see know. like there's fluidity around the kit. I know that's what when people when I always saw my favorite drummers um, playing the drums. And I know there's a lot of uh, people who follow you here, and he would never ever say this about himself because he's, you're way too humble. Are you gonna make me uncomfortable right now? Probably. I told you it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> but there's a fluidity that happens when he plays, and and it's just because he's there's patterns that he's very very comfortable with. And uh, like the, the, when he's sweeping around the kit, like, I don't think any of us understand how hard that is. That's very challenging. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. And so that, I know when, when, you, when you guys, your, your kids there, or anyone who's learning to play drums or wants to play like that, it's just a matter of putting the time and dedicating the time to learning those specific patterns and those specific techniques. Yeah. So <clears throat> I think the reason why, uh, specifically the sweep, the reason why maybe I'm so fluid is because I love it, you know? So right. it, was, it was never like tedious for me to, to practice it. Yeah, but you uh, I've, I found a pattern that I really loved, and I think that's the most important thing. I think um, if you pursue developing your own style and you find the stuff that you really like, then you'll practice those things, obviously, because they're fun. Yeah, it's and not so that's even, what happened with that. It's not even practice. It's exactly. Like, it's like you're hearing guys, um, well, it's like, it's like me and probably you too. Um, we don't, when we say we're going to work, we don't necessarily feel like work. Like, it's yeah, exactly. fun. Right? Exactly, we, exactly. And so it's not really hard for us. It's just like... And I wish that for everybody. I wish everybody... Yeah should say that at some stage in their life. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. And that kind of um, is like the perfect segue into what's happening this week with the Cobus Method. There's like, um, you're out here in Canada, and if you guys see where we are, we're not in a massive building or a massive warehouse, and our warehouse <laughs> is absolutely slammed. I love how you put it. It's like a... Unwinnable like, game of pac <laughs> It totally looks like that. Every single time you want to go upstairs, you do this. It's so embarrassing. It's like, I wouldn't, I'm not going to use the words fire hazard because I don't want you guys to get sued. But yeah. it, mm, <laughs> we have insurance. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's like the package is like 100 bucks off. And obviously, we don't want this to turn into a sales pitch. But, you know, when we're talking about developing your style, you know, you need little things like that sweep, like, yeah. like little tips and stuff that are going to inspire you to get on the kit and develop. But and that's what it is. Gain confidence. It's an inspirational thing. It's not, uh, you have to learn these patterns if you want to be good. That's right. not what it is. It's like, uh, be inspired, get inspired, like leave your ego at the door and just be as inspired as you can and then just follow that path. Like yeah. be inspired, pick up some tricks. And yeah. So that's exactly what we did the other day. I, I, I mean, we spoke about this and I realized that the Kubus method is like a time capsule of pretty much everything that I know up until that point when we filmed it. I may, might have learned some new little things in the past six months or right. a year or so, but that's like a <clears throat> time capsule of pretty much everything I know. And if you watch that, then you can just choose, I want to learn that, I want to learn that, I'm going to take that, that inspires me. And it's not like you're going to end up no. like a clone of you no at, at all. Like you'll end up with, like we were talking about this, when, when you play, like when I see him play, and you guys maybe can answer this in the chat, who do you see? What drummer do you see? And Obviously, the easy answer is Carter Beaufort, uh, Aaron Spears, with all you do, so you're talking about. Um, Travis Barker, um, who else? Where's that other drummer's You're name? giving me huge compliments right now. What's the other drummer's Why am I blanking? Okay, well, all these like... Tony Royce there. Yeah, no. some Tony Royce. Well, with the, with the feet stuff that you're doing and everything now, there's a lot of like other stuff that... that uh, in, um, Inspiring people that you can see, people that have inspired him, that yeah. uh, is coming out in his plan. That's like the biggest compliment you give me, but yeah. but uh, yeah, it was never a case of I'm going to copy that lick. It was just yeah. Aaron Spears playing and me going, what? How? And yeah. then going to the kit and then playing. Yeah. Like using that ins inspiration and going to the kit and realizing, oh, this is a triplet pattern and then applying yeah. it my own way. But it, it's in this, the, blech, it is the inspiration more than anything else. Yeah. So cool, and yeah, that's what that kind of the, like we said. That's what the coolest method is. It's like a hundred bucks off, and so it's an awesome deal um, at the website. And so if you want to go ahead and check that out, yeah, please. I do. like the fact that we launched last year, and we had a launch, and yeah. we've been going for a while, but now it's like fifty percent off. Yeah, hundred bucks off. So if, if somebody's kind of been sitting on the fence for a while, then yeah, oh, it's awesome time. Yeah, yeah, only for a few days. I, 
I hate saying that because then I immediately sound like a sales guy. But luckily, yeah. you guys know me, so I'm just going to say it. But it's only for the next few days. Well, once it's cleared out, it's cleared out. Yeah, so well, it's not that's like true. there's any sort of million like, copies hidden, hidden no, away. We have a billion copies in storage. <laughs> One billion billion. <laughs> no, yeah. it's not. No, uh, they will probably sell most of them in this next little while. Yeah, it's the next uh, couple of days left. But um, one other thing I want to quickly discuss. Yes. Again, is the Kickstarter thing. Yes. Can we, so excited about that. Can we chat about it a little bit and just tell us, uh, I'd love to know, like, how did you get the idea? Because um, I don't know, you know, so this is what he's, what you've already done and accomplished is great. Like, you already got tons of support. Um, he was featured on Mashable. I think he's like a rock star now. <laughs> Mashable is like a social media um, news site, the biggest social media news site, which is awesome. And someone wrote an article about him. Yeah. I thought that was great. Crazy. But um, how did you come up with the idea? Well, it's, I'm going to really try and keep this short because I, I ramble about the things that I'm passionate about. So that my idea came from the fact that I've always been most excited about making original music. Right. So I love doing covers, and I'm sure that every single drummer uh, sits in his room behind his kit, puts his headphones on and plays along to his favorite music. That's just how drummers roll. I guess all musicians. And so drummers kind of always play along to covers. And so drummers always play along to covers. Why does that sound wrong? But anyway, so I did the covers, but, and I love the covers, but I was always most passionate about original music, like writing with a band, having a guitarist come to me and say, check out this riff. Like, what kind of beat would you play to this? Or can you write some lyrics for me? Or let's record this. How can we mix this? Like, how can we experiment? Stuff like that just really excited me. And so I had this idea. Um, like how can I make an original album by still using the YouTube platform, still respecting you, the YouTube platform and still respecting the people who made it possible for me to be like endorsed and go to the States and stuff like that. Like I don't want to just like abandon that whole thing, you know? Yeah. I want to respect those people. And so I thought, how about I use, how about if I use the YouTube platform to audition musicians, fly them to LA and do an album? And my first idea was, or my first reaction to that idea was like, that's impossible. That's going to be so expensive flying people to LA, writing an album, like no yeah. ways is that going to happen. And so um, there's this rad website called Kickstarter, and so I thought I'm going to do my homework, see, see how low I can keep the costs, and I'm going to launch a Kickstarter campaign. And so I did, and we launched that, and we, we wanted to raise, we needed to raise $35,000 mm -hmm. to be able to do this, because it's really expensive to fly like five people to LA for a few weeks. And so we raised that in three days and six hours. Wow. Of the 30-day campaign, which was the most mind-blowing thing ever. Yeah. We raised $38,000 in three days and six hours. So it's firmly on the way now, and I'm extremely excited. Yeah. Because, I mean, for a, for a year, it's been this idea in my head that I've been so passionate about. So it's incredible to see, to put that idea out there, and, like, fully ex not fully expecting, but being ready for people to say, that's the stupidest thing ever. Yeah. That's never going to work. Huh. Like, fully being ready for that and then seeing this kind of response. So yeah. it's very cool. And the one cool thing about uh, Kickstarter is... If you choose to back it, if you become a backer, um, you basically, they, Cobus can choose to give you rewards. So if you back it for like something like $40 or $25, there's a certain reward level you yeah. get there. All the rewards levels are there, yeah. so yeah. And uh, you've had a few big people come through, <sighs> yeah. massive uh, uh, backers there. And, and uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a, I think it's an awesome cool, man. way to use the... Use the current YouTube platform. Yeah. You have lots of cool people auditioning already too. Yeah, yeah so many cool auditions. Yeah. It's awesome. And if we raise, um, I mean, 35,000 bucks was, was to get the initial project going. But if we raise, I think it's uh, Jason, the guy that works with me, he did the, the math on this. And I think if we raise 70 or 75,000, then we'll be able to uh, accept auditions from the whole world. We'll be able yeah. to fly you from wherever you are. So I'm really hoping we hit that. Yeah. That would be great because then it turns into a global yeah. um, project. So. And I mean, the fact that you've done it for 35, I think that's like you have seriously shrunk the cost. Oh, totally. Because yeah. I was, I love, uh, we have lots of bands here locally, and it's, it's regular that bands will spend 30 grand to just record their album. Exactly. That's not to replicate it, not to, to master it necessarily or mix it necessarily. With all the musicians being in the same yeah. city. And, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. like you're like auditioning, flying them in and doing all this extra stuff as well as filming it. Yeah. And so, I mean, the more support that, that you can have, the, the better I think the, the project will be and Absolutely. the more you can dedicate to it. And so yeah. I, I would hate that people um, didn't give any more because they, they feel it's funded because it's, they're still, yeah. Um, yeah, still just give and, and, and support it. And I think it will get, we'll all get a great product in the end. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, but that leads me to the kind of one of the last things I want to talk about, and that is our contest. I just want to kind of reiterate what the details are. Okay, so basically the prizes are five Cobus Method packages, 
Okay, five separate people, each get one. Absolutely, you get the package yeah. and lifetime access to the media yeah. on the web. Yeah. Yeah, and so we'll ship you the package free of charge. You don't have yeah. to worry about that. And we'll free international. It's open to international people as well. Uh, we'll put a zero dollar value on it because you did not pay for it. Um, so there's that. Um, also, five people get the chance to win and become a backer to Kickstarter. Um, I'll totally put the money up uh, at the forty dollar level, and you will get a signed CD DVD package. CD DVD package. Access to the exclusive members group and yeah. tons of other small little stuff. Awesome. And we're giving away that signed snare drum head. Yes. As well as two pairs of signed sticks. Yes, my signature, signature sticks, sticks, my Pro Mark signature sticks. Yeah, which are also available for sale on your website. Yes. Cool. Um, so to enter, and I'll let you guys, you tell this, because you explain it way better than me. OK, so you're either watching this on, on um, the Cobus Method website right now, or you're watching this on YouTube. In either case, what you should do is just open up a new tab in your browser or go to a computer with a browser, and then go to your Facebook page. And then you just search the Quibus Method, and you find the page, the Quibus Method page. It's got about 22,000 likes, just to make sure that you're on the right page. And then just like it, if you haven't liked it yet. And then go to your, your private Facebook page and just post as a status update. Just tell us what you'd like to achieve with your drumming within the next 12 months. Yeah. So say, within the next 12 months, I would like to be able to play a jazz swing groove, and then with it, between brackets, you just tag the Quibus Method page. You just yeah. type bracket, opening bracket, at sign, the Quibus, and then it should probably pop up. You click it, close the bracket, because grammar is important, yeah. and then you say share. Nice. And so when you've tagged us, that means we can see it on yeah. the Quibus Method page, and we know who you are, and we're very thankful, and also you can win some rad stuff. Yeah. And that's all you guys got to do. So it's like... Um, there's no, you don't just mail us anything. Or no, 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 like nothing, yeah. And we're, regardless of where you are at in the world, you can. One status update. Yeah, one status Absolutely. update and you're entered to win. So, I mean, you might, you might as well just go like the page and, and uh, join the drumming community because I think it's great doing something like that. Yes, you enter to win and stuff like that, but also you're, you are telling everyone socially what you want to do and what you want to accomplish. Absolutely. And that's going to hopefully hold you to that goal. Yeah. So 12 months later, you look back at all your, your updates and you're like, oh, I said I would do that. I only have one week left. I should start practicing. Totally. Because I just think if I, should, if I posted something like that on my page, yeah. I'm going to get comments of my drummer friend saying, cool, man. Yeah. Right on. That's awesome. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. And then you'll feel like a total ace if you don't. Yeah, and you'll feel <laughs> freaking awesome if you do. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Great. See so you guys. I believe that's all the time we have for today. Yeah. We have to play some more. Okay. Let's play, we'll play them out. Let's play them out. Okay. So, so the guys in the control room, <coughs> whenever we get boring, you can just fade us out. Whenever we get like super boring and we do some repetitive stuff, just fade us out. <laughs> when the people in the chat start saying, this sucks, then just fade us out. <laughs> okay, I'll start it. Cool.